Water Master Modbus Connection Cabling Modbus is an open standard owned and administrated by an independent group of device manufacturers styled the Modbus Organization, www.modbus.org. Using the Modbus protocol allows devices made by different manufacturers to exchange information via the same communication bus, without the need for any special interface devices to be used. The maximum permissible cable length is dependent on the baud rate, the cable, diameter, capacity, and surge impedance, the number of loads in the device chain, and the network configuration, 2-core or 4-core. This video will address 2-core connections. The maximum cable length depends on the type of cable used. The following standard values apply. Up to 6 meters 20 feet, cable with standard shielding or twisted pair cable. Up to 300 meters 984 feet, double twisted pair cable with overall foil shielding and integrated earth cable. Up to 1,200 meters 3,937 feet, double twisted pair cable with individual foil shielding and integrated earth cables. At a baud rate of 9,600 and with a conductor cross section of at least AWG26, the maximum length is 1,000 meters 3,280 feet. When using a 4-core cable as a 2-wire wiring system, the maximum length must be halved. The spur lines must be short maximum of 20 meters 66 feet. When using a distributor with N connections, each branch must have a maximum length of 40 meters 131 feet divided by N. A Category 5 cable can be used for Modbus RS485 up to a maximum length of 600 meters 1968 feet. For the symmetrical pairs in RS485 systems, a surge impedance of more than 100 ohms is preferred, especially at a baud rate of 19200 and above. Note that this cable has a length limit compared to qualified Modbus cable. Belden 9841 cable is used for examples in this video. Transmission Modbus RTURS 485 Serial Connection Baud Rate Factory Setting, 9600 baud Parity Factory Setting, odd Stop bit factory setting, 1. IEEE format factory setting, little endian. Typical response time less than 100 milliseconds. Response delay time factory setting, 10 milliseconds. Using a Modbus approved cable will allow a point to point cable run of up to 3,937 feet from a master to a water master slave unit. Proper shield connections and end of line termination resistors are required. In the previous point to point, the approved Modbus cable allows the maximum distance cable run. CACT5E cable can be used but at a shorter run length. Using the proper Modbus cable, up to 32 devices can be connected by spurs, branches from the main trunk of the bus, with the following limitations, maximum spur length 20 meters, 65.6 feet, trunk length maximum 1200 meters, 3,937 feet, end of trunk line termination resistors 150 ohms at 1 half watt. The water master can be arranged on a trunk with taps no longer than 65 and 1 half feet. When there is no data activity on an RS485 balanced pair, 
the lines are not driven and are thus susceptible to external noise or interference. To ensure that its receiver stays in a constant state when no data signal is present, the signal lines need to be biased from a single point on the bus, at, or close to the master. A pair of 560 ohms resistors can be connected on the RS485 balanced pair to bias the signals. A pull-up resistor to a 5 volt source on the D1 circuit and a pull-down resistor to the common circuit on the D0 circuit. The water master has dual wiring terminals for RS485 connections. These provide a means of connecting the in and out bus cables for daisy chaining directly onto the bus. Another less used configuration uses a distributor with the slave in a star configuration where the legs from the master's distribution point are equal distances. The maximum distance of each leg is 131 feet divided by the number of legs, n where the number of legs is greater than 2 but less than or equal to 32. Termination resistors have to be carefully calculated. RT equals N divided by 0.0067, N is the number of legs, RT is the value of the termination resistor. This is Cliff McEwen. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for additions and updates. If you have any questions or comments please contact me at abbwarminsterflowguys at gmail.com.